So we decided to make a resistor shorter with a user interface. So we come over to the PIC. Started with the PIC and the TFT display that we had for most of our labs. And we integrated a GUI below it so that right now you can see it's in sorting mode. If we reset it, you'll see the start of the GUI. And we can go through and select with this knob that I always have more trouble with than them. And select sorting mode. And then the preset logarithmic bins just go off order of magnitude. And then on the sorter itself, it'll start sorting. The second breadboard is our motor control electronics. So underneath the spinning wheel is a stepper motor that controls the bin position. And there's a, a transistor and power resistors to control the solenoid in the feed mechanism that you can hear the clicking for intermittently. You can start with just putting the resistor in without the feed. Do you know what this is? This is a mega, right? It's a mega ohm. Let me just do it. So the sorting mode will use the feed mechanism, but we can just bypass that for now and just put it into the cradle. And it'll go up, measure, and go down. It didn't measure it, right? It's at one. It's at yeah. the It was already right at the right bin on the GUI. Should we try to feed one as well? Sure. Well, I'll just put another one in the cradle. Which one that different? Give me a number. Magic 10K. And that's 10K. And on the screen it says 9.8 kilo ohms. And drops it into the bin. Uh, so we also have a separate measure mode in the GUI, as you saw. Um, so we can actually have a separate measure mode where if you don't actually use the feed mode, you can just drop it in and it will return the resistor right back to you. So sometimes it's helpful, like if you're in the real lab, you don't know what a resistor is, you can just kind of drop it in and see what it is. Kind of fun. <laughs> cool. You can also set custom bin limits. So like we have the, the logarithmic bin limits, but uh, if I reset this, I can show you the custom bin limits. So you can actually set... Um, you know, different bin limits. You can say, okay, I want that to be 30, 140 ohms, and maybe I'll make this one up to, you know, maybe a thousand ohms, and this one to uh, maybe 40k. You can see that you can actually change the bin limits so that you can get mm -hmm. um, different bins for whatever your particular resistor applications may be. Thank you. So we have a resistor sorter here, a feeder resistor into the hopper up there. So now it's in the jaws. Now it's going to be measured, and the sorter is changing position. Beautiful. <laughs> just leave it at one.